In some ways, the textbook understanding of the Ming has been one in which the Ming was the absolutely quintessential oriental despotism, in which you had one imperial court that called all the shots. And one of the things that new research has done is shown us the importance of the regional princely courts, which are spread across China. So one of the big themes of the exhibition is the role of these regional princely courts. You have the most extraordinary quality of objects. Many of these things have never left China before, and they are truly stunning. So you have solid gold ewers, three meter high golden embroidered textiles, costumes of a prince who died of a drug overdose at the age of 19, and the only extant crown of a prince covered in jewels. One of the crowns that we have is a nine-tasseled crown with beads hanging in front of the face of the wearer. They're the only surviving examples that we have of those particular crowns from China so far. One of the most spectacular objects uh, in the exhibition is this solid gold belt. The gemstones with which it studied were not produced within the Chinese empire itself. They almost certainly came from uh, Sri Lanka. They demonstrate the ways in which the contact between the Ming Empire and the other parts of the world put into circulation types of material that they hadn't had access before. Every single detail of this exhibition has been researched. The AHRC funding allowed us to achieve time to develop relationships with the 10 different museums that we're working with in China. It really is a fantastic showcase of how a museum and a university can work together to deliver some original research with a great public outcome.